you are still allowed to pay for gold strikes inside Russia. The Pentagon has given a massive endorsement of the Ukraine's long range attacks on targets inside Russia after President Putin's multiple missile strikes against Kiev's critical infrastructure. Since daily assaults on civilians began in October, the Pentagon has revised its threat assessment of the war in Ukraine. Crucially, this includes new judgments about whether arms shipments to Kiev might lead to a military confrontation between Russia and NATO. This represents a significant development in the nine-month war between Ukraine and Russia, with Washington now likely to supply Kiev with long-range weapons. The U.S. Defense Force told the Times, we're still using same escalatory calculations, but the fear of escalation has changed since the beginning. It's different now. The U.S. is no longer insisting that the Ukrainian armed forces not strike Russian territory. Washington is less wary of Moscow's escalation. We are not saying to Kiev, don't shoot the Russians. We can't tell them what to do. How they use the weapons is up to them. But when they use the weapons we provide, we only insist that the Ukrainian army abide by the international law of war and wait for the Geneva Convention. It is said that this is the only limitation. The official added, this means that Russian families should not be targeted and there should be no attempts to eliminate specific individuals. As far as we know, Ukraine complies with these conditions.